Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay. How are you? Good, and you? I'm fine. Thanks. All right. Okay, okay. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Good. Okay. Let's wait to wait a bit for the others. They're coming in. Yeah. Huh? Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello. Okay. So we have here. All right, then let me, we're going to listen to this. I'll get the share sound. Increase the volume. And there we go. Okay, so we're going to start with, uh, with the knowledge check to review the vocabulary that we had yesterday. One. Page eighty nine. Yes. Okay, so you will um I will play the the, the audio, right? Then uh you will look at this picture here and after we are going to answer the four questions okay. from each conversation right where are in the first conversation where are they going the question is the same okay so what you have to do or what we have to do is just find out listen where they are going on the first conversation left the department store the bank Maria restaurant Okay, so we have to do the same for the four questions. Okay. Ready? Ready, yes. Okay, Ready. very good. Mm. So here we go. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Just turn off your microphones so that you can listen to me. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay. Yes, please. Thank you. Keep your mics, your microphones off. All right. Now listen. Exercise six. Listening. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise five. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm, I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. 
Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on Second Avenue next to the supermarket. P and J supermarket? Yes, it's on Second Avenue between Main and Center. Okay. Thank you very much. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and Second? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. Four. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on Second Avenue, across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and Second Avenue. Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's coffee shop. Okay, thanks. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Thank you. Okay, here we go again. Now, when I listen again, okay, now pay attention to pronunciation, vocabulary, okay, and after we go to the answer. Okay. Uh, please keep your, mantengan sus micrófonos apagados para no interferir con el audio, okay? Page 89, exercise 6, listening. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise 5. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? 1. Hmm, I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes. It's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay. Thank you very much. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and Second? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. Four. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on Second Avenue, across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and Second Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's coffee shop. Okay, thanks. All right. Okay, now we have here the question, where are they going? According to the first conversation, they're going to last department store, to the bank, or Maria's restaurant. Where are they going? To what place? The bank. To the bank. The to the bank? Okay. The banks. What about the, the second banks. what about the second conversation? Left the department. Baby's drugstore. Baby's drugstore? Okay. And where are they going? Maria restaurant. Maria's restaurant. Maria's restaurant. Okay. And the number four? Favorite shoes. Favorite, favorite shoes. Favorite shoes. Okay. There we are, right? Everything is green, so that means that everything is correct. Okay, we got 33 points, so that's a 10. Okay, very good. Now we're going to continue with the same uh, idea, right? Practicing. Uh, Eduardo Alas, would you please uh, okay. this okay. objective here? By the end of the class, you will learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, 
you will practice a conversation so which illustrates how this topic yeah. is used in a real life setting. Okay, very good. So we're going to practice basically how to ask for, money. Ask for and give directions. Direction. Okay, good. Now listen to this conversation. The first time, uh, pay attention to, to the vocabulary, new words, expressions, and I will play a second time so that you can pay attention to the intonation too. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going. Okay. Just walk up Fifth Ave. St. Patrick's Cathedral. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? Okay, as you can see here, there are expressions, right? This is, is it far from here? Okay, he's asking about the distance, right? The distance from a, a specific point to another point, right? For example, here I am in, uh, in Lourdes, right? If I said, uh, is Santa Ana, okay, look at, the, look at the pointer. Is Santa Ana far from here? I am in Lourdes, right? Is Santa Ana far from here? Yes or no? No? Yes, it's far. Yes, yes it is, right? They say it's about a 30 or 35 minutes by car. Yes. Okay, 30 or 35 minutes by car, okay? With depending the on the traffic. Depending on the traffic. On the depending on the car, depending on the driver. <laughs> okay. okay. Yes. But it's about 30 minutes. Okay. 25, 30, 30, 35. Okay. All right. So then this is the question here. Is it far from here? Far is about the distance, right? Yes. Is San Miguel, is San Miguel far from San Salvador? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. And then this is the question. Then the man is asking, excuse me, ma'am. Okay, to the lady, can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral, right? How do I get? Okay, this is, for example, what is the best way to arrive to that place? And then the lady say, just walk up. Walk up Fifth Avenue to Fifth, uh, to fifth Street. St. Patrick's is on the right, okay? Pay attention to this one, right? Because if you're coming from, uh, let's say, from San Salvador to Santa Ana, okay, where is Colón? On the right or on the left? If you're coming from San Salvador to Santa Ana, where is Colón? On the left or on the right? On the left, on, on the left, right. on huh? the left. Yeah, I call left. from San Salvador. It's yes, on the left. you're coming from San Salvador. San Salvador it's on the right. Salvador. It's on the right, correct. Okay. Mount because we are, we are traveling from Depend. north. I have from San, San Salvador to Santa Ana. Okay. And if we go from Santa Ana to San Salvador or Santa Tecla, where is Colón? Is on the left. On yes? The left. On the left. Yes. Okay, good. If you're coming from Santa Ana to Santa Tecla, 
in, and you want to go to Sonsonate, you turn, cruzan, you turn on the right mm -hmm. or on the left? On the right. On the right. Si le dan a la izquierda, se meten en un, en un bache. <laughs> <laughs> okay, se dan con el puente. Right. Yes, that's correct. On the right. Okay, so on the right is lado derecho, right? On the left is el otro derecho. Right, on the left. A la izquierda. Okay, don't forget that, right? On the right or on the left. Esto tiene que tener, tiene que ver con la ubicación que nosotros tenemos en un, en un mapa, right? Right. Okay, is it near Rockefeller Center? And they say, yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Uh, thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? This is otra forma de preguntar. Where is the Empire State Building? Okay. Uh, is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> microphone, microphone. Bless you. Yes, bless you, bless you. Okay. Yeah, this jueves y el cuerpo lo sabe, right? <laughs> the body knows it. Ya pide. Yes. Sorry. Okay, good. It's my dad. It's, okay. it's, it's okay. not me. <laughs> All right. Then, uh, then we have, a, it says it's right behind you, okay? Or, I, or you can say also behind, okay? Is it behind or behind, okay? You can use the pronunciation, say it's right behind, behind, okay? Now listen, now listen and pay attention to the pronunciation. How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just one. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or how can I get to? Then we mention a place. Four answers. Walk up. Go up. Walk down go down turn left on turn right on on the right on the left make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions okay so here we have how do i get it's a question right how do i get to santa tecla how do i get to el salvador del mundo how do i get to uh, Uca University. How do I get to Metro Centro San Salvador? How do I get to Metro Centro uh, Lourdes? How do I get to Metro Centro Santa Ana? Right? Then, or how can I get to? Okay, the two forms are correct. How do I get to? And the name of the place, or how can I get to? Then, you can answer, walk up, okay? Camine hacia arriba, right? Like for example, if I am in, uh, here in Lourdes, they say, how do I get to Cologne? Walk up, walk up uh, 10 blocks, 10 cuadras, and then you, you will see Cologne on the left, okay? Or go up, walk up or go up is similar, okay? Walk down and go down is the opposite. If I am in Cologne and I want to go to Lourdes, they say, walk down, okay, camine hacia abajo, 
Okay. Go ahead, 10 blocks, and then you will see, uh, I don't know, Las Arboledas to the, on the right. Oh, we'll go down, okay. Turn left. Okay, if you want to go to uh, Sonsonate, when you're coming down uh, Los Chorros, then turn right, okay, turn right in uh, El Poliedro, right? Then turn right, and then you will be going to Sonsonate, okay? Turn right on, and then, for example, on the right is when you see the place, okay? If you coming down Los Chorros, when you get to El Poliedro, you will see a Puma gas station on the left, okay? If you're going the opposite way, when you get to El Poliedro, to Santa Tecla, then you will see the Puma gas station on the right, okay? That's a specific place. So this vocabulary is essential for to, to practice and give directions. Now, let's try to analyze the expressions. Walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when given directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up 5th Avenue or go up 5th Avenue. Now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue. And we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be, walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now, let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to New York Public Library. The question would be, how do I get to New York Public Library? Or, how can I get to New York Public Library? The first instruction would be, walk down 5th Avenue or go down 5th Avenue. So what is the next step to get to New York Public Library? For that, we will use the vocabulary, turn right on or turn left on, depending on where our destination is. So to answer that question, we will say, turn right on 42nd Street. So what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street? For that, we will use the vocabulary on the right or on the left. So in this case, it's on the left. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give directions using this map. Also, try to give directions to your local supermarket, hospital, school, park, etc. Okay, so like this one, right? Like you have here already, how do I get to the supermarket? Go down 44th Boulevard, take third exit at the roundabout, and turn right on 6th uh, South Avenue. Okay, so this is one way that you can give directions. How can I get to school? Walk up in front of the park. How can I get to Walk up to the, uh, let's say, walk up, walk up to the, well, walk up the street and it will be right in front of the park. How can I get to the hospital? It's on 25th Walk, it's on 25th Avenue, Walk, uh, then you have to say the name, of, the number of blocks, 
is in front of the mayor's office, okay? How do I get to the market? Walk one block, then turn right and follow the path. Then turn left, there is the market. There is the market. How can I get to school? Walk to the cathedral, then go down to the right. How can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Now you are in New York Public Library. So you have two walk in 42nd, on 42nd Street. And turn left and go straight on 49 meters, wow, to, re to reach the cathedral. These are some examples. Okay, now before we do this one. Okay, who, who lives in San Salvador here? Everybody, no? Everybody. Yes. Well, the majority moves here in San Salvador, right? Yes? Yes. I guess. Yes. Right? Okay, then. Yes. We're gonna get, uh, vamos a agarrar un punto de referencia, right? Let's say, uh, for example, the, um, uno bien conocido. Which one? Cathedral. Externado San Jose. Okay, Externado San Jose, right? Near Metro Centro, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, suppose that we are in the third classing, yes? Yeah. Okay, we are there, right? I'm in third classing, good. Now, and I want to go to, and I want to go to Centro Cultural. How do I get to El Centro Cultural? Remember, we are in Centro Asen. Okay, ¿quién se anima? Can I? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. If we are all Cetracen, uh, how can I get to Centro Cultural uh -huh. yeah, and walk up like a uh, 10, no, no, like uh, eight blocks and there is on, there is Centro Cultural. Okay, then walk Something up. Like that. Something like walk that. Walk up, yes. Sim, uh, Sisimil Street? No, I don't know the name, right? What is the name of that street? Uh, I don't Sisimil, know. right? Yes, I guess it is. Sisimil Boulevard, Street. Tutunichapa Boulevard. Uh, the uh, price mark. Uh huh. Okay. But I think it's Sisimil Street, right? And walk up. Sisimil Street. Sisimil Street, like. Uh, Avenue Sisimil. Yes, Avenue. Uh huh. Okay. Like, Avenue. Like 400 I'm meters, happy. maybe, like 400 meters, okay? And the Centro Cultural is on the right. Yes? Okay. On the right from Sertrasen, yeah? Uh huh, on the right, on the right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, okay, correct. From Metro Centro. Across from Metro Centro. Across from Metro Centro. Across from Metro Centro, okay? So this is, you know, how to use local places. Now, we are at the Centro Cultural, okay? And now I want to go to Mr. Donuts. Por ahí hay un Mr. Donuts. Between. Mm -hmm. Between Mr. Donuts and Sky Center. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But how do I get from a Centro Cultural to... Make, to to Mr. Donuts. Boulevard. Okay, walk up. Harris. Walk, walk at Boulevard. To uh, Los Héroes Boulevard. Boulevard. Okay. Boulevard. Uh huh. Then. Then. Turn the right. Turn the right. Turn right. <coughs> on the right. Uh, on the right. right. <laughs> then walk. 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 Uh -huh. Walk what? Walk Look at down. my hand. Walk, huh? Max? Walk down, walk down, walk down, walk down. Walk down. Walk down Los Proceres mm -hmm. uh, Boulevard uh, for what? Uh, 300 meters, maybe, right? 200 yeah. meters. Mm -hmm. 300 meters, okay. Mr. Yeah. Donuts is across, uh, on the right, across the right. from uh -huh. Pizza Hut. Exactly, very good. It's on the right, uh -huh. across from Pizza Hut. Exactly, okay. Across, so then, uh -huh. okay. 
you are in Centro Cultural, walk up to Los, uh, Los Eres Boulevard, turn right, walk down Los, uh, Los Eres Boulevard for 200 or 300 meters, then Mr. Janet is on the right across from Pizza Hut. Ya no se pierde, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. then you don't get lost. Okay, now I am there. Okay, now I am Mr. Donuts and I want to go to Las Tres Torres. Quiero pagar la renta, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, pay the rent. A la parte de un lado. <laughs> <laughs> Take a taxi. <laughs> Take an Uber. You know, Take an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Janet, very good. All right. Uh -huh. How do I get from Mr. Donuts to Las Tres Torres? Um, walk down mm -hmm. uh, boulevard on the, on the boulevard, Los Heros oh. Boulevard. Yes, Heros Boulevard. Uh -huh. four, boulevard. four blocks. Uh huh. And um, turn the left. Okay, and turn left. Or from from veterinary. A hundred, hundred meters. Uh huh. Heros veterinary. It's across from Los Heroes, the uh, veterinar uh, the vet clinic, right? There is vet, a, uh -huh. Yes, the veterinary, the veterinary Los Heroes, right? Right. Yeah. Okay, very good. All right, so this is, you know, how to give uh, directions in your local city, right? Now, from there, you can go to the National University, then to the Bloom Hospital, right? And then uh, you can probably go to, uh, let's see, uh, a supermarket, select a supermarket in Colonia Lico, I guess, Lico neighborhood, that is one. And then you can go and see and find different places, okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Now, let me see, we have something in the chat. It says, Okay, good. Problems with the with the audio? Okay. Good. All right. Then uh we have this one. Now let's go back to the platform. And let's listen to this. There are four questions. Okay, a uh, Noemi, can you please read the questions only? Noemi, Castillo, not there. The questions only, teacher. Yes, the questions only, please. Where can the woman get stamps? Okay. Number two. What do they need? All right. Number three, where is the gas station? All right. And number four, how can the woman okay. get to a restroom? To a restroom. Okay, good. No problem with this vocabulary in the questions? No, it's okay. No, it's okay. okay. It's all right. Very good. Now listen and take notes, coming notes, right? Take notes, here we go. Okay, so you in? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. 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 Units 13 to 14, progress check. Page 98, exercise one. Listening, what are you looking for? Listen to the conversations. What do the people need? Where can they get or find it? Complete the chart. One. What are you looking for? I'm mailing some letters and I need some stamps. Well, you can get some at the drugstore. They sell stamps. Oh, great, thanks. Two. So what do we need? I think we have everything. Sandwiches, fruit salad, cookies. Oh, wait. 
We don't have any drinks. Let's stop at the supermarket on the way there. We can get some lemonade. Good idea. Three. Excuse me, is there a gas station around here? Um, I think there's a gas station on the corner of Main and First. Just drive down Main Street for four blocks. It's on the left. You can't miss it. I'm glad it's not far. I really need more gasoline. Four. Can you help me? Is there a restroom around here? Oh, sure. There's a restaurant not far from here. They have a restroom. Go up this street for two blocks and turn left. Thanks a lot. Okay, good. Now I'm going to play it again, but now we are going to see the answers okay, that we have on the knowledge check. <laughs> Units 13 to 14, progress check. Page 98, exercise one, listening. What are you looking for? Listen to the conversations. What do the people need? Where can they get or find it? Complete the chart. One. What are you looking for? I'm mailing some letters and I need some stamps. Well, you can get some at the drugstore. They sell stamps. Oh, great. Thanks. Two. So what do we need? I think we have everything. Sandwiches, fruit salad, cookies. Oh, wait. We don't have any drinks. Let's stop at the supermarket on the way there. We can get some lemonade. Good idea. Three. Excuse me, is there a gas station around here? Um, I think there's a gas station on the corner of Main and First. Just drive down Main Street for four blocks. It's on the left. You can't miss it. I'm glad it's not far. I really need more gasoline. Four. Can you help me? Is there a restroom around here? Oh, sure. There's a restaurant not far from here. They have a restroom. Go up this street for two blocks and turn left. Thanks a lot. Okay. What do we have in the first one? Where can I get, uh, where can the woman get stamps? At the drugstore. At the drugstore? The drugstore. Very good. How about the second one? What do they need? They drink, they, they need, need drinks. drinks. They need drinks. Very nice. They, they need drinks. Okay, good pronunciation. Very good. How about number three? The, the corner. corner of Main and First. Okay, on the corner of? Main and First. 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 Very good. Nice. Okay, very good. I like that. How about this one? By, okay, how? How can the woman get to a restaurant? Go up the street. Go, go up for two blocks. Go down the On the corner of two blocks. And use first. the restroom at the restaurant. Then use the restroom at the restaurant. The first one? This one? La segunda. The second one. <laughs> The second one. Okay, good. The second one. Go up the street for two blocks. Okay, and turn left. She can use the restroom at the restroom. Okay. Okay. No se le olvide apagar el sonido. Okay, good. So we have the first uh, number four is correct. The second one. Yes, Janet. Good. You were right. <laughs> Three, what is the gas station on the corner of Main and First? They need drinks, yes, and at the drugstore. Okay, buena retentiva, good. You can 
So we have 34 out of 34 points. That's a 10. Questions about this vocabulary or expressions? Yep. Okay. You can't miss it. Okay, good. Uh, Janet, can you please read this objective here, please? Okay. Be the, be the end of the class, you will develop a skill in the reading for details, details and making inferences. inferences. Okay, very good. Okay, nice. Okay, details, remember, is when we have to remember, a, for example, the special words or information that the, that the reading is providing. That's lo que la lectura está dando. Inferences is when we read between the lines. Okay? This is when we are reading something it's not implied, no está así como escrito, no está literal, but we can imply, right? So we can read between the lines, como leer entre líneas, right? And infer. Okay, this is something that we do every day. Esto lo hacemos en español bien a menudo. Por okay. tanto, esa habilidad, los abogados la ocupan bastante, ¿verdad, Janet? De sí. interpreta, interpretar. Interpretar la ley. Ajá. La, eso es inferir, ¿verdad? Se infiere sí. mucho. This is making inferences. Entonces, todas esas habilidades que ustedes ya tienen en Spanish, se transfieren al inglés, no hay mayor problema. Pero sí se necesita el vocabulario. ¿Ok? Sí. De vocabulario. Bo vocabulario técnico también. Ajá. Exactly, exactly. Depending on, the, on your career, if you're a doctor, if you're a lawyer, if you're an architect, then. Sí. It's similar, similar to Spanish. Ok. okay. All right. So then here, you will listen to this information and after we will read it and answer some questions. But now pay attention to the pronunciation, okay? Hi everyone. In this class you'll develop skills in reading for details and making inferences. We'll do this by reading an article titled A Walk Up Fifth Avenue. A Walk Up Fifth Avenue. One. Start your tour at the Empire State Building on 5th Avenue between 33rd and 34th Streets. This building has 102 floors. Take the elevator to the 102nd floor for a great view of New York City. Two. Now walk up 5th Avenue seven blocks to the New York Public Library. The entrance is between 40th and 42nd Streets. This library holds over 10 million books. Behind the library is Bryant Park. In the summer, there's an outdoor cafe. And at lunch hour, there are free music concerts. Three. Walk up 6th Avenue to 49th Street. You're standing in the middle of the 19 buildings of Rockefeller Center. Turn right on 49th Street. Walk another block and turn left. You're in Rockefeller Plaza. In the winter, you can ice skate in the rink there. Four. Right across from Rockefeller Center on Fifth Avenue is St. Patrick's Cathedral. It's modeled after the cathedral in Cologne, Germany. Go inside St. Patrick's and leave the noisy city behind. Look at the beautiful blue windows. Many of these windows come from France. Okay. Beautiful blue windows. Many of these windows come from France.
Wait. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Okay, the microphone, the microphone. Okay, I don't know if you will be able to... Can you read? What? <clears throat> Can you see the, the image? Yes. Yeah, you can see. Yes, right. Okay, so here it says, a start. Wait. Hi, everyone. It's time to develop maker images. We'll do a walk up Fifth Avenue. A walk up Fifth Avenue. One. On Fifth Avenue, between 33rd. Okay, here, have, okay. Start your tour at the Empire State Building, okay, on Fifth Avenue between uh, 33rd and 34th Street. This building has 102 floors. Take the elevator to the 102nd floor for a great view of New York City. Questions about the vocabulary? No? No. Okay, lo que no dicen lo que hay que pagar para subir ese elevador, right? Like 40, no, 40 no entendí. No? No entendí. No problem. Tiene que llevar la, la botellita de agua. Yes. Start your tour at the Empire State Building. Okay, this is a, a walk up. This is un tour o una caminata por la Quinta Avenida in New York, right? El tour comienza en Empire State Empire. Building. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y le da las direcciones, ¿dónde está? On Fifth Avenue, between 33 and 34, right streets. This building has 102 floors. Okay. Casi igual que mi casa, right? So 102 <laughs> floors. Uno menos creo que tiene a mí, right? Take the elevator to the 102nd floor. Entonces, para llegar aquí, Hay que agarrar un elevador que está por aquí, right? Y hay que pagar como 40 o 50 dólares. Okay. And then it says uh, a floor. Una vista en Nueva York City. Uh, for a great view. Y yeah, de aquí se ve, se siente el viento bien fuerte. And you can see New York. Okay. 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 For a great view of New York City. Okay. It's como un mirador, right? From here. Very nice. Nice place. Okay. The second one is, no problem with the vocabulary? No. No. Okay. The second one is now walk up. Now walk up Fifth Avenue, seven blocks no. to the New York Public Library. Okay. No. The entrance. The entrance. Is between. It's between. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fourth. Fourth and 42nd. Eh, los micrófonos, pues, si tienen ahí el perrito. Forty eh, second streets. This library holds tiene over ten million books. Okay, solo que ahí hay más de diez millones de libros in that library. Okay, esta es una que sale en una película que, que está congelando todo New York. Mm -hmm. eh, the, day after. the day after, exactly right. So then, y ahí hasta los queman los libros. Behind the library. And the, uh, 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 the day after the movie. Uh, behind the library is Bryan Park. In the summer, mm -hmm. there is an outdoor cafe. Okay, it's an outdoor cafe. It's un cafe al aire libre, right? And at lunch hour, there are free music concerts. Okay, that's well in Central Park. Encontrar gente con, eh, dando conciertos, right, for free. Okay, three. Walk up 6th Avenue to 49th Street. You've, uh, you are standing 
in the middle of the 19th building of Rockefeller Center. Okay? Este es otro que hay que pagar para subir, right? Está parado en el centro del edificio, right? In the middle of the 19th, 19th building of Rockefeller Center. Turn right on 49th Street. Walk another block. Turn left. You're in Rockefeller Plaza. Aquí es donde van a sale mi pobre angelito patinando. In the winter, mm -hmm. you can ice skate in the, the rink. Rink. Yeah. rink es la pista de, pista de, de hielo. Hay patinaje. Mm -hmm. Okay. There. No problem? No. No. There? Okay. Number four, right across from Rockefeller Center on Fifth Avenue, St. Patrick's Cathedral. It's uh, modeled after the cathedral in college, right? Colon, Colon. No, no, Colon, Colon, Germany. Colon, Germany. Germany, go inside St. Patrick's and leave the noisy city behind. Look at the beautiful blue windows okay many of these windows come from france mm -hmm. nice place too it's like you know like the one in don rua here for example the mm -hmm. the windows i think they come from italy you know the, the colors the colorful the vitrales they have in the, in the windows they come from italy very beautiful colors and images okay Questions about vocabulary? No. Okay, for example, here in each, in each one, number one, number two, you can read a description, a little description of the place, the directions, the location, the ubicación, right? The location and the activities they do in those places. Okay, this is like if you were, into, if you, uh, were in a travel agency, and they tell you, okay, where are the places, what places to visit, uh, or what are the most uh, popular places to visit in New York, right? You can also take a tour and go to Wall Street, okay? Uh, you can go to the uh, Liberty State and Island, you know, you can go to Brooklyn, okay, see the bridge, so many places that you can visit in New York. Okay? Okay. Me suena como que ya ido por ahí, teacher. <laughs> yes. I love that place. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> yes. So, sounds like that, right? Estaba haciendo un gran comercial ahí. Yes. Uh, that was it. Okay, good. Now, oops. Wait. Wrong click. Okay, now we have and 34th Streets, right on 49th Street from Rock from Rockefeller Center on Fifth in France. See. Okay, and then we have. Ok, este es el midterm que van a tener mañana. Bueno, ya lo pueden empezar a hacer y si ya lo empezaron a hacer mejor. Ok, este, acaso lo recuerden de que para, por si los que tienen algún problema, que está viendo que tienen algún problema para escuchar o algo, le dan, aquí dice pop out. Hay que darle clic en este cuadrito y les va a abrir otra ventana. Ok, yo creo que ya muchos de ustedes lo saben, pero tal vez en algunos les va a dar y en esa ventanita que se abre, One. ahí es donde lo van a escuchar. Luego pueden regresar a esta y estar escuchando desde acá. Are you do this weekend, Julie? Y well, contestar. Si oh, necesitan okay. escuchar más veces, solo vuelven a esto, lo vuelven a dar play. Ok, y ya pueden nuevamente escuchar hasta que contesten o están seguros de la respuesta. Ok. Okay. Esta, eh, recuerden, acá está fácil que hable de click, 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 click on one of the answers. 
Eh, y si ven acá, van a estar aquí, Mark is going to be, ok, las edades. They're going to have a party on the day. Remember the prepositions on, at, ok, they are going to dance, ok, sing songs or watch television, the action. So today. Ajá. Uh -huh. And Train. esta igual, match the question with the answers, match the questions with the answers. Are we going to work this weekend? Que aquí tienen que tener cuidado con los detalles. Yes, I am. I'm going to go swimming. No, it's not. No, we're not. We're going to relax. Yes, they are. Yes, he is. No, they aren't. ¿Cuál podría ser la, la respuesta? Either C. Hmm? The letter C. The letter C, right? Are we going? Aunque aquí le faltó la coma, pero igual esa es la única respuesta. Esta no, porque es yes, I am. Ok, y habla de swimming. No, it's not, es habla de un objeto. Esta es la más cercana. Yes, they are, no, because it's just are we. Eh, yes, he is, no, because it's not. Perfect. Solo una vamos a, o hay solo, de más, solo una o hay más de dos. No, aquí es una, right? It says one. All right. En algunas puede decir que hay más respuestas, pero aquí está hablando solo de una. Are they going ah, to cook okay. dinner? Are they? Mm -hmm. Fíjense bien, la pregunta a quién va dirigida, are they, ellos. No se puede decir. Ellos. Yes. Ajá, yes, I am, no. Yeah, ajá. Uh -huh. No, it's not. Yes, yes no, they not. are. Ajá, la más lógica puede ser, yes, they are, yes. they are going to make yes, pasta. They are to make pasta se podrían confundir, se podrían confundir con la F, pero aquí going está. Going to, to party. Okay. Es más, más directa. Sí, es. Okay. sí. Ok, entonces es de leer con cuidado, right? Mm -hmm. And then you mark one. If you see, there are six questions and there are one, two, three, four, five, six answers for each. Y son las mismas. Oh. Perfecto. Solo que cada una lleva su propia. Please, Perfecto. going to rain tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Now, the next one. Select WH questions to complete the conversations. Um, okay, aquí está la respuesta. Next summer, we're going to go to Alaska. How are you going to get there? Where are you going to go next summer? Go to who, uh, who are you summer. going to go with? Okay, and when are you going to go? Hello. Okay. How are you going to get there? Mm -hmm. How? Vean bien. No. No, it's not a no. problem, right? Y donde, where are you going to go next summer? Where, uh -huh. where are you going to go next summer? Second okay, one. it says we're mm -hmm. going to go to Alaska, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to go next. Then the next one is Alaska now. Wow, it's Alaska. Wow. wow Alaska. Uh -huh. That's great. No coronavirus there. Okay, <laughs> so then where are you going to go next summer? We're going to take a boat. Who are you going to go with? When are you going to go? How are you going to get there? Okay. Yeah. De acuerdo a la respuesta. Okay. okay, así van a buscar la pregunta. Sí. Tenga más sentido, right? Okay. All right. Aquí vamos bien, pero son clicks. Uh, acá en esta igual, right? So you just have to choose one. Remember, I feel. Okay, it's a conversation. Okay, it said complete the conversation, so let the correct word. I feel. Headache. Uh -huh, a headache. A headache. Why, headache. Why have a headache? Headache. I have, right? I have a headache. I have a headache. I have, I have then, a headache. <laughs> drink, eat, or take? Please. Take these pills. Take these pills. Take, right? take, uh -huh. take, take. take. Remember que drink es más para los líquidos. Right? Sí. Y lo que pasa es que en español se suena, suena similar porque decimos tomar. Tómate. Ajá, uh -huh. en, en inglés uh -huh. drink sería como beber. Right? Uh -huh. Porque en español take it takes tiene un similar... Parecido, pero, por ejemplo, toma el papel, no es drink. Es como dice, tome asiento. No es drink, uh -huh. no es drink a chair. Ah. 
Tuhin ka dyan. No. They say, take a chair. Take a seat. Okay? Nasa, Thank you. No, let's say, drink a seat. Tome asiento. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then you take, you choose okay. one from here. Y aquí le van a dar, what's the matter? Que es la más común. Luego, let me see what else. Okay. Acá, read the article. Van a leer. Igual van a, es la, lo que vamos a hacer. Lectura sí. constructiva. Pero quiero ver si hay algún ejercicio que a veces son los que dan más problemas. Sí, hay una, la 4.4, que a mí me ha dado problemas. A veces son como... No, eso era todo. Ah, pero eso ya es en el 4.4, ya es la siguiente lección. Sí. Ok. All right, entonces, no está, como ven, no está difícil, lo creo que lo pueden hacer mañana. Pues, sí. eh, cualquier otra consulta, ahí estamos a la orden, ¿ok? Muchas gracias. Ok, okay everybody, so have a Muy nice bien. weekend. Traten Thank de hacerlo mañana care. para que disfruten el fin de semana, all right? And Muchas gracias. Ok. Good night. Have a good night. Good have a good night. Good night. Thank have you. Good night. Bye. Have a good night. Bye-bye.